Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, I'm, I'm gonna talk about that because you know this, you know, this happened before with uh, my, my Nintendo Switch Mini video. Uh, I talked about Nintendo Switch Mini and the possibilities of that, and uh, nobody seemed to care at the time. And uh, you know, months later, you know, fools start talking about Nintendo Switch Mini being a rumor, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny. Uh, there's this rumor the Nintendo Switch Mini, and uh, everybody, you know, all the news channels ran with it. And, uh, you know, now this is happening with the, uh, the virtual console thing. Like, months ago, four or five months ago, I did a video on that and, uh, uh, talking about, you know, how, how that would work out. And now Fools is running with it like this is a new news story. But, you know, this is the stuff that happens here on YouTube. And, uh, it's, uh, it is what it is. Uh, great time. And hopefully next year. And, uh, maybe you can see us older. But I'm back. Yeah. Hey there, fools. It's Mr. T here with your T News. First up, it appears that Dark Souls Remastered for the Nintendo Switch has been delayed. In other news, Sega has unveiled some kind of cool stuff going on now, coming out for all the consoles. On Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, Shenmue 1 and 2 HD. Now this isn't a ground up or anything remake or even a remaster to that degree, but it's it is, it's really cool because you get both of these awesome Dreamcast originals on a disc for your PlayStation 4, your Xbox One, or PC. Uh, but at this point, no Nintendo Switch version, which is kind of annoying, but oh well, it is what it is. But they also unveil that they're going to be doing compilations of their classic games on the disc as well. Uh, I believe 50, 50 or so games coming for Xbox One, PS4, and uh, PC. And on um, the Nintendo Switch, they're doing the Sega Ages thing, which I believe will come to all the consoles at some point. But they're doing the Sega Ages thing, uh, which is something they kind of started on the 3DS, where they kind of remastered to some degree or enhanced some of their uh, classic games for the 3DS. And, uh, you know, games like uh, the original Sonic and uh, Afterburner and things like that. So they're doing that and bring that out for the Switch. They're going to continue that whole Sega Ages thing on the Switch, uh, which is pretty cool. Good to see that happening. And uh, perhaps we'll get Shinmu at some point once they figure out uh, whatever the issue is with that. I'm guessing it's probably the cart size. Uh, I don't know. Because it, it shouldn't be that big of a cart. Maybe 8 to 16 gigabyte cart. Because if you, if you add up all the games and to put the sizes together, it's about a little bit over 8 gigs. And uh, you would think the Nintendo Switch cart could handle that in 8 gigs. But we'll see what happens with that. But anyway, the Sega Ages thing is pretty cool, and uh, because of that, people have uh, speculated that we're not going to get a traditional, you know, virtual console thing happening, which is, uh, you know, it's apparently it's new news. So, uh, let's talk about that. Yeah, I can't believe people act like this is something new. Oh, we're back on. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, a few months ago, uh, Mr. T, uh, you know, uh, speculated on, uh, you know, uh, what... You know, the consequences of a traditional uh, virtual console would mean for the Switch. Uh, did a video on that. Please go check that video out. Like I said, it's about, you know, maybe five months old now. And uh, talked about how I thought the, uh, you know, the, 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 the way the, the, the indie games were thriving on the Switch. Uh, you know, that was a good thing, and that could possibly be hurt by a virtual console, because most people are going to pick nostalgia over new games. That's just, uh, you know, this is the way it goes. You know, classic games versus uh, new games. People might not give a new game a chance, uh, where they, you know, where they'll quickly buy something that they're used to. So, I mean, that's just understandable psychology. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I talked about that in the video and a plethora of other things. But apparently, uh, this is new news to some folks. Uh, uh, you know, it started out uh, on one channel, then it jumped to this channel, and then it jumps to this channel. That's what happens, and unfortunately, fools like me, I'm subscribed to most of these channels, and they just, uh, just seems like they're regurgitating uh, news stories, if you will. News stories. They're not really news, like I said. <laughs> I talked about this some time ago, uh, speculated on why it would make sense that there would be no traditional virtual console on the switch at least at this point maybe later on just go watch the video it's it's uh it's still uh pretty relevant today especially now with everybody making their videos and things like that so 
yeah, go check that video out. Uh, like I said, I talked about it myself. And it's just one of those things It's like I'm seeing happen a lot uh, in the community and, uh, you know, the, with the, the gaming community at large. Uh, you know, I'm subscribed to a bunch of people, a lot of people who do news and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's just basically I'm watching the same news on different channels. And, uh, you know, for me, it just doesn't work. You know, uh, sometimes that's the thing about me is like I want to do news stuff, too. But when I see three, four, five, six, seven people deliver the same information, it just it just kind of keeps me from doing it. You know, I started this T News thing a while ago, and I, I haven't kept it up, and that's one of the reasons why. So what I'm going to do going forward, because I really want to do this T News thing, I want to really dig and find stuff that, uh, you know, most people ain't talking about. Uh, you know, stuff like the virtual console thing, and make that T News, because, you know, that was news for me. And uh, now that these fools finally caught on, it's news for everybody now. So uh, I, I, I don't have a bigger channel as everybody else. So when I see something like that, and you know, I get maybe a thousand views on it, but you know, these people they'll put it out there, and one guy gets a hundred thousand views, and they they'll say, "Oh, I gotta do that too," because that guy got all those views over there. I gotta do that video too, and so it just gets passed along. So what I'm gonna try to do for my T news uh, going forward is try to find really. Uh, deep, deeper game, you know, deeper game new stuff, and uh, put that out there for you fools, cause uh, you know I want to, I want to do this T news. I think it's cool, but I want to do like deeper stuff that you know most people ain't talking about, that kind of a thing, and uh, you know I think that'll be cool instead of just regurgitating the same stuff. I'm, I'm not like uh, dissing anybody for doing that, cause that's just new. Like if you if you watch uh, network news, uh, like national TV news, they do the same thing. You know, a news story will come out, and everybody will talk about it. So, but I don't sit there and watch all the news stations I'll, I'll watch one and uh, I'm good you know so I got to do the same thing for YouTube because it's you know this is you know a fun thing for me and I'm not gonna sit there and listen to everybody's news story about the same stuff so that's why I want to come and bring you fools some stuff that you know you're not you're not usually getting from the uh, if you will uh, the mainstream <laughs> so I want to do cover stuff like that and talk about that kind of stuff so yeah let me know what you guys think about that you think that's a good idea let me know in the comments below and always uh yeah i appreciate you fools watching and uh that'll do it here for this uh unorthodox version <laughs> episode if you will of t news and i'll see you on the next one fools peace out